All right, welcome back to your third video on how to make Excel documents. So what the aim for this tutorial is, we're going to create a sheet. So if we for instance make a new Excel document, we can just we can see that it makes for us a sheet called sheet 1 and just creates empty cells in there. That's just for showing you what's going to happen here. All right, so we need to import something. It's also from the Apache library. So we have to type in import.org.apache.poi. And it is also from the SS user model package. And the class is called sheet. All right, let's create one. In our main method, just go below, below the workbook object and just type in sheet and let's call it something like sheet1 because we're going to create multiple. And let's set that equal to workbook.createSheet. So what, it, what this is going to do, it is going to create, create a sheet and put it into the workbook. Sounds fair enough. Let's run that. We don't get any error messages. Let's open it up in Excel. And as you can see, we also don't get any error messages from Excel that the content would be empty or that the data may have been lost. Instead, there's a sheet called Sheet 0 and some beautiful, beautiful empty cells in there. So, Sheet 0 is not quite a nice name. Let's try maybe to rename it. Let's give it another name. For that we're just going to create another sheet. So let's call it Sheet 2. And also set it, set it equal to workbook.createSheet. And as you can see if you're using Eclipse, it also gives us the suggestion to use the method createSheet by putting a string in there. So let's let's try that one out. Let's put in something like pancakes. If we run that, we don't get any error messages. Let's open it up. And as you can see, it made up for us two sheets. One of them is called sheet 0 and one of them is called pancakes. So that sounds pretty nice. But there's one limitation, so there's one restriction. Let's create another sheet, let's call it sheet 3 and set it equal to workbook dot create sheet and let's give it, give it some stupid name like you know question marks, 789, brackets dot u e. so let's see what happens if we run that one oh no so we got a error message which says invalid character so apparently he didn't like the question mark so you gotta be aware that there are certain restrictions so you can't use uh, characters like question marks and you also can't use uh, uh, characters like brackets and you could just say that you you know you just could delete them and then it's gonna be alright but if you want the user for example to type in a name for his sheet uh, he could type in anything you know he could type in also question marks exclamation marks and all the kind of stuff that Excel doesn't like and then it's going not going to be able to create those so there's gotta be a way to correct all this stuff you know to remove all the all the um, you know all the question marks and all the stuff that Excel doesn't accept and it turns out there is a way we can use a class which is also in the Apache library, it's in the SS package, uh, in util, 
And in the util package, there's something called the uh, workbook util. So instead of typing in the string in there from uh, the sheet three, let's just type in workbook util dot, and then there's a method called create save sheet name. And then we can put in a string with question mark 789 dot basically what we just had before or you know whatever you like. Let's let's do some crazy things. So of course usually the program wouldn't accept that because you know there's a question mark, it doesn't accept the opening and closing brackets and all that kind of stuff. But with the method create save sheet name, it does with the uh, it does with the string something that just uh, okay. I just lost my words. Uh, so as it, let's just skip what I said there. So as you can see, it terminated and we didn't get any error messages, which is good. And if we open up Excel, you can see that it created a sheet. And it just left out all the special characters that it doesn't accept. You know, there's no question mark as we had it in there. And there's also no brackets and it, there's also no dollar sign. No, wait, there's a dollar sign. There are not the question marks and all that kind of stuff. So what it did, it just took those special characters and just replaced them by a space bar. So that's, that's a safe way to create safe sheet names. So it basically does what the method tells us what it does. So it just creates a safe sheet name. So it prevents creating errors because we're using special characters and all the kind of stuff that Excel doesn't accept. So I think that's that's it for now. You know how to create wonderful workbooks, you know how to create wonderful sheets. And the aim for our next few tutorials is we're going to try to create cells and fill those in with wonderful names. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching and see you later.